हेलो हेलो एवरीवन सॉरी फॉर द स्लाइट डिले लेट मी आई एम जस्ट गोना वेट फॉर पीपल टू जॉइन इन Okay, I think I am now. So, those of you who are watching, please let me know if you can hear me and you can see me. All right. Great, great, amazing. Sorry, there was a slight delay because of some technical. uh difficulty it always happens <laughs> okay and i hope i am loud enough for all of you great okay hi good evening anandita we'll just wait for a couple of people to join in super super hi sanena Thank you. Hi Akash, hi Shalini. Hello Seema. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So we'll just start in maybe five minutes or two three minutes. It's a very uh, interesting topic today. I'm sure all of you are as interested and eager as I am to talk about it and share and learn and uh, yes. <clears throat> Hi Priyanka. Yes, hi Kitu. I know there's a usually there is a time lag. But that's okay. That's Facebook. Hi Suvira. Okay, as we get started, uh, I also wanted to share that there'll be some a little bit of work for all of you but it'll be easy work because money doesn't come usually it doesn't come easily that's what or that's what we believe right so let's just do a little bit of work for the sake of changing our money frequency thank you akash thank you so much i'm also glad to be here suvira super super okay we will get started okay so i uh, just wanted to introduce myself briefly and first of all thank mridula so much thank you mridula ji for inviting me uh, really blessed to be a friend of yours and a partner in crime uh, i we can joke about that now but thank you so much uh it's such a wonderful pleasure knowing you and the amazing lovely being that you are thank you so much for inviting me and uh, 
my name is Bhavna and I am an intuitive expert and uh, I'm a wellness coach and I usually uh, do most of my work with people from different age groups on mental and emotional health and I have been trained in different modalities but my focus is on the issue and based on the issue I work on the modality that is needed so if you look up my profile you would have you would see yes I have been trained on past life regression on NLP on pranic healing um, on uh, numerology as well on number of other modalities acupressure but what the focus is that जो क्लाइंट होते हैं जो आते हैं मिलने उनको रिलीफ होना चाहिए दैट इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग राइट दैट ऑल ऑफ अस बिलीव इन सो टुडे आई थॉट मृदुला एंड आई वर डिस्कसिंग एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस कि हम क्या बात कर सकते हैं सो आई थॉट वॉट बेटर टॉपिक दैन टू टॉक अबाउट मनी एंड बट इट इज अ लिटल डिफरेंट देर इज अ ट्विस्ट टू इट बिकॉज एवरी टाइम आई शेयर समथिंग दर इज ऑलवेज अ ट्विस्ट so uh, as we get started i want to first ask you that what is your relationship with money whatever is the first word or first few words or color or thought that comes please uh, type that here so that i can see it hi simi so what is your relationship with money whatever comes to your mind there is no judgment today is a judgment free completely this page in this group is completely judgment free i know there's a time lag between comments so i'm going to wait for the comments and those of you who have just joined um uh the question that i'm i've just asked and suggestion that i've asked from all of you is uh what is your relationship with money it can be a word that comes to you or it can be a color that comes to you or a thought whatever comes to your mind first please share that in the comments over here okay green color and it is important hi geetu thank you so much for coming blue i love my money also i'm grateful for it okay my job interesting we have colors we have a feeling towards money hi and we also associated associate money with the job that i am doing currently okay great everything oops now they are going to scroll fast everything is provided to me on a platter maybe past life karmas okay green and connection not so good okay okay blue and need okay i love the fact that we have so much variety of responses because then we can work on each one of them hi sonia hi kakandeep red color freedom okay green yes and green is i'll i'll talk about green in a bit why the color green okay let's see if there are any more responses whenever i want it appears yes yes important okay uh hi meeti thank you so much money no control love money okay blue important useful need hi vandana hi shalini okay it's it is important red color hi sanjay okay okay great so we have a combination okay important and possibilities okay great we have a diff, we have combination of color uh, that people associate money with we have we also have some emotions uh, we also have words like need and possibilities and freedom that we are seeing white that is important right okay great now we are going to work on these a little bit okay so uh what i also want you to uh i want you to now just do a quick another quick exercise okay and i want you to remember what you just uh, told me hi sanjay aapka first time hai thank you so much for joining not much attached to money okay 
and um, great so now i what i want you to do is all of those who have answered what your relationship with money is whether it is red blue green important whatever your response was i want you to just close your eyes for a few seconds just close your eyes for a few seconds hi swati hi vandana so those of you who have joined i want you to just think about what is your relationship with money is it a word is it a color is it um you know a feeling whatever comes to your mind and just close your eyes and i want you to think and remember if you responded as a color red white green blue if it was any of these color i want you to just tap into and remember what is the first memory that is coming to you in terms of the color so i want you to just think about that color which, which is associated with money what is the first memory that comes to you when you think of that okay and just hold on to it it could be somebody saying something to you it could be a memory also whatever comes to you first just hold on those of you who have said it is important it is a need uh, it is my job it is um, you know there is not enough i want you to so anybody who thought of words i want you to close your eyes and again think of where is that word coming from is it really your own word or is it coming is it coming from someone else or some other place so just recognize is it your own word so need important job all of these are these your own words okay and once you have thought of it you can open your eyes and you can just type in here so those of you who had who had thought of color uh, color you associate money with color just tell me where is that uh, color memory coming from is it coming from uh, that association is it coming from a memory or is it coming from someone else or something something else okay hi simi anshika green color prosperity vandana okay okay i know the it there's a time lag in between and those of you who thought of it as a word like prosperity or it you know i have enough or i don't have a relationship or it brings happiness it brings freedom it is a need <coughs> need so i want you to also tell me is it your own word or is it somebody else's word hi jatin hi hi mamta okay geetu has gitanjali saying that shiny silver from my mom gave me rupee 1 coin when i turned 6 ah that is a wonderful memory so the you i know you said uh, that it comes to you when you need it and then uh, the other thing that came to you was a shiny silver and it was from mom when you turned 6 okay blue memory so what is that uh, memory if you can elaborate abundance of money prosperity thought i thought freedom so it's red i connected with my marriage dress yes yes that's such a wonderful example agandeep thank you for sharing that just uh, let more examples flow and um, okay so what you would my first thought was getting it from my parents as a child for the swing rice green color it is important as everyone talks about it my own word my own word okay i don't remember what your words were okay that's fine it's mine okay important my word my thought own words okay need as its everyday requirement husband's job okay so uh, what you would have noticed is uh, usually 
what happens it comes from a memory or a memory either in the childhood or while you were growing up usually in the childhood when like gitanjali mentioned the first time you you might have been given a coin or you might have been given and you started getting pocket money right or you started uh, you know you start you got your first uh, summer job and you started working you got that money maybe that you know association was strong so usually and the uh, my thought connection my is my own word green color comes from a note which i kept in the mandir drawer in circle shape or note okay my comment comes from the fact that all my work assignments that have enriched my life okay my first salary kanika yes yes and my father was a at cloud 9 yes this is a, such a wonderful memory as well because you are associating it with two things so money was your first salary so of course it was your own happiness but it got multiplied when you uh when you when you saw the happiness on, on your father's face and your father was on cloud 9 that you had finally become independent seema okay blue memory my engagement dress yes yes at the habit of collecting pocket money yes the silver pile my nani gave me yes such a beautiful memory so um, i'm sure these are you know all the memories uh, came you know flooding to you and uh, all of them seem such lovely memories so when we are associating our money okay there are two things that happen usually what ha like i was mentioning earlier the association comes from our childhood and how we have seen money while we were growing up now one is that now what might happen there are usually there would uh, even in the same household there are two people uh, who might respond dis- differently one would see it as i have to be conservative i have to be careful with money it is important and so i have to be careful and similarly the other child might look at it that there is never enough money i have i always need to ask for more uh, pocket money and uh, you know so i associated with maybe hard work or i associated with um, you know that it has to be earned right and uh, okay memory from childhood when father used to plan for business yes at times yes swati so sometimes uh, that's a good example at times it would also happen when you if you're especially if your father um was a businessman or even you know if you would have observed your father or your mother jab wo mahine ka kharcha likh rahe hote the like my memory is of my parents they you know they were uh they are from that old school where you have to maintain an account book and your account book has to uh, har ek rupaye ka hisab hona chahiye and i remember and i think we still some way might have all those 20 30 years or maybe they must have thrown some of them but i'm sure at least last 10 years ka khata hoga okay and like every rupee is taken care of and many a times uh, when we would not know uh, you know or we at least we would not remember growing up that uh, where we spent it so you know we would look back in the account book because we knew that our father or, ma- or mother would have noted it down right and uh, so for me it was that you have to be very diligent with um, money okay that is the memory that i had that you have to have, you have to be very diligent and you you have to uh, take care of money right and uh, so what happens so that is that is the first memory that we start having about money now as we start growing up it might change drastically if we have consciously tried to change it or it might remain same but it it will just build on it so one of the many things that especially what let me just look at the answer some of these answers my connection to lakshmi my mom still does that yes my parents still do that i have left it i did it for my first i think uh, for my first two three jobs after that it was just too time consuming 
uh, Mamta, very good. I'm so glad that you do that because I do feel it's a very, very helpful exercise. And I'll talk about it uh, a little bit later again, why it is a helpful exercise. But coming back to our uh, initial first understanding of money or our first association with money or abundance, right? I'm still talking about money and we will come to abundance in just a bit. What happens? Yes, Ruchi, wonderful, wonderful. And uh, hi, Jyotsna, thank you for joining in. Uh, so what happens is that as we start growing up somewhere, uh, when we start, uh, and especially if we are working or we have started working or even when we, you know, when we get married, we are given the responsibility that you have to, abhi sara khata tumhare haath mein hai. Many a times it does happen in many families. In some families, maybe the husband, wife, both of them look at it, uh, you know, um, sometimes one looks at it more, some, sometimes the other one looks at it more. But usually the woman of the ho house uh, looks at the money part of it, right? Uh, the, uh, the monthly expenditure, etc. And the savings are perhaps uh, taken care, uh, the larger savings are taken care by the husband and the wife also makes sure that she also sh say, saves a certain amount of money, right? So what happens is, and these the colors that we're talking about, right? The red color and the green color. The green color is also associated because we have seen so many images. Um, have you ever seen any image that probably does not have a shade of green when we talk about money? Even icons. Right, the icon that we see on uh, you know on Facebook or wherever or on presentations, it is always green in color. So somewhere because we see it so many times, and somebody maybe had just thought that it'll, they'll make green color, and so we associate green color with money, right? The other thing is red is again because especially in India we associate red with abundance, we associate red with prosperity. And in every, when we do puja, karte hai, jab bhi hum, um, you know, even when we are doing um, uh, any uh, goddess uh, ya koi Lakshmi ya uh, Durga, vagara, unki jab puja karte hai, red has a big role to play because that is associated with abundance and prosperity, especially for women. Uh, and because it is also associated with uh, having a healthy child, right? And uh, being uh, very abundant in that sense. So what happens is, uh, okay, Veena, hi Veena, uh, hi, I could spend below rupee one when I got five for a gift, I did not know what to do, I gave the entire thing to my brother. Yes, yes, uh, sometimes uh, that was a natural uh, response that would happen. And so uh, coming back, so what happens is many of these memories that we would see or we realize these memories are from our, um, somebody has brought in those memories, right? Even if it is ours, right? For example, let's say green color is mine, but the green color is not really mine. I have seen the green color from some images on television, on news, in newspapers, in magazines, and that's how I'm associating the green color with money. Similarly, red. Red would be, uh, because we don't know subconsciously what would have attracted us, the color red. So even red, so colors, we would have either it would be associated with the memory and we may or may not remember that memory or subconscious conditioning that would have happened as we were growing up. Now coming to, um, and of course, so one is while we are growing up and then the next stage is uh, when you earn your first um, money, it could be a summer job, it could be pocket money, it could be uh, one, um, you know, or your, uh, when you started doing, um, you know, you just did all jobs and you got money uh, paid for it. And the next stage is when you get married, especially for women. When women get married, they are given the responsibility of the household, which is an household a lot. The big, uh, the big uh, idea behind the household is granny ka matlab is also looking after the money part of it. Right? So these are stages that we will remember because these are stages where I, our thought of money and our idea of money changes. So for example, 
uh, you know, those of uh, we were probably more prudent when we were children because we were taught to be prudent. We were taught that money does not grow on trees. You have to earn it. You have to do hard work and you have to earn it. Uh, and when we probably earned our first paycheck or when we, uh, you know, we wanted to just whether it was 1000 rupees or 500 rupees or 10,000 rupees, um, at least we, whether we actually blew it up or not, but we, you know, we probably would have bought something for our parents or probably for our husband or children or we would have, we would have bought something for ourselves. So we would have perhaps not mind uh, spending the entire amount at that time right because that was associated with happiness okay now I want to talk about um, yes it is coming from the subconscious mind that's right it is coming from the subconscious mind now okay let us go further I want to ask you how many of you who are watching now are uh, entrepreneurs or have your own business or have your own work uh, which is like you're not working for a company but you're having your own work and even if you're working for a company just let me know and also let me know um, how, who all are healers or psych, you know, psychotherapists, psychologists in the healing work Jotsna, okay oh, Green has been my childhood favorite Ah, I'm. you painted your workplace green nice, nice my husband's business, okay Okay, so dental practice. Uh, sorry, I. Uh, so okay. Um, so just mention therapist or healer or something so that I know because if you just say me, then it'll be a little confusing for me. So Rima, Ritu, okay, Jatin. Okay, Jatin. Me sometimes I. Sorry, I didn't understand that. Okay, so Vira Maling to do something of my own. Shimbhi. Uh, hi, Shimbhi. You're a school teacher, yes, yes, that's also a profession. That's running a gas agency, healer, okay. A principal, dental surgeon. So many of you are independent workers as well, have your own practice or your own work, business, whatever. Therapist, red is the color for my husband. Uh, prosperity, yes, red is associated with prosperity. Run a kindergarten, okay. So yes, so many of you are um, therapists or you have your own business or you have your own practice, um, right? And show uh, Akash Jatin when I found someone in trouble or need. Uh, okay, so you heal or you work in psycho, you're a psychologist or psychotherapist when somebody is in need, okay? Associate professor, therapist. Okay, now uh, those of you who have your own business or your who are entrepreneurs, right? And those of you who are working for someone else, you know, whether it's a college or university or uh, you know, you're basically working for someone someone else. You know, you don't own that. So I want to. Okay, uh, thanks, Priyanka. So I want you to now, uh, we don't need to say this, now I want you to just um, close your eyes once again and think of what is it that, um, what is the one thing that you want to get out of this session today related to money. So I want you to think of your work and your business or your job. And tell me on in the comments what is it that you want to learn or get out of the session regarding to money. Yes, Vandana. I saw the message. Yes, Red is for prosperity. You recently joined a job. Okay. So those of you who have joined, just tell me with regard to your work, business. Or job that you want what is one the one thing that you want to take back from today's session money blocks ah okay thank you Rima you have said it as it is that is what I wanted more admissions okay great let them come let them keep coming 
now we're getting to the meaty part I tend I intend to remove money blocks remove money blockages revive abundance ask my fees as a therapist great question with Anjali Garima financial prosperity abundance create more abundance hmm okay so Deshna okay higher salary possession okay nature of spending as most of the time money is not happily earned and spent in other unusefulness activities so I'm guessing how to increase the flow of money great so it is essentially money blocks removing money blocks and opening up the floodgates of abundance and money okay and Priyanka wants to set up a home business which I'm guessing you are also looking to create money or bring abundance okay remove money blocks great okay so I want you to now this is the moment of truth there's another exercise that we're going to do okay and I want you to now uh, close your eyes and I want you to first visualize so all of you who have just also joined you can do this along with me and those of you who have just joined uh, or otherwise okay I've got more responses get more prosperity want to learn shares market on abundance okay great so close your eyes and I want you to now first visualize okay even if uh, so I want you to visualize about health okay we are going to look at how do we manifest good health so irrespective if whether you have a health issue or you have any problems um, that's fine I don't need to know about that I want you to just start by closing your eyes and visualizing regarding your health okay so when you close down your eyes I want you to now visualize that you are the kind of health that you would want so put a scale to it say on on a scale of one to five wherever your health is okay I'm hoping that it is less than five at present because we need to do this exercise so rate yourself where is the according to you okay not according to anybody else but where according to you is your health one being the lowest five being the highest okay and now I want you to choose what is the level that you want it to be where do you want your health to be on a scale of one to five one being the lowest five being the highest where is it that you want your health to be okay now once you've chosen that number I want you to now start believing I'm going to take you through instructions and I'm going to tell you what you need to do okay so I want you to observe and visualize yourself and if you have maybe a specific issue in a specific part of your body or your organ you can visualize that as well so I want you to first visualize yourself that wherever you feel there might be an issue in your body okay I want you to visualize that that part of your body or organ is healing okay whatever the color of the organ that might be coming to your mind you don't need to tell me the number so whatever the you know when you're looking at that organ or that body part whatever the color is coming I want to visualize as if it is healing on its own I want to visualize beautiful sunlight melting away the negative cells the bad cells I want you to visualize white light really healing that body part okay and I want you to just put all your energy and focus just make that it's five on five that your organ or your body part is really healing completely just visualize that and it's happening very rapidly okay and I want you to just throw in as much sunlight beautiful sunlight healing sunlight beautiful white light whatever both either one of these lights just 
visualize that your entire body is healing and it's beautiful your body is beginning to glow okay your body is beginning to glow and it's completely completely perfectly healthy now okay i want you to visualize that it's completely healthy and as if it's so healthy that you can stretch and you can bend you can move around so much so well that you absolutely feel that there is nothing wrong with you okay just visualize that you don't need to tell me the numbers you don't need to tell me the uh, don't type anything right now i don't want you to type anything right now okay now let's um you can just open your eyes for a bit okay open your eyes you don't need to type anything right now i'm not looking at the numbers right now open your eyes and close your eyes again close your eyes again quickly and we're going to do another exercise close your eyes and once you've closed your eyes i want you to now visualize and think of the negative blocks that you want to remove in terms of money what are those financial and negative blocks i want you to think of those think of the incidents that are there think of what is it that is blocking it i want you to think what all issues are there in terms of money related to your life or your husband's business or your own business whatever it is or your own work i want you to visualize that okay once you have visualized that i want you to now based on what you told me you you know you mentioned that you want to you want to take it up a notch so i want you to now visualize and picture yourself in the new new space of money okay whatever that looks like whether it is increase in business some somebody said possession or make taking over the school or buying a school somebody said starting my own business uh somebody said you know increasing dental practice so i want you to visualize what happens when you have achieved all of it okay i want you to visualize that and once you visualize it tell me on a scale of uh, how many of you were successful in changing that reality about money and just be honest again there is no judgment there's a reason that we're doing this we'll just i will just come to that so the question is how many of you were successful absolutely successful and absolutely knew that that is going to happen to you you will have that lakhs of business per month per day and you were absolutely convinced what you need to charge your clients and you were absolutely convinced that your work your business is going to bloom so now you can open your eyes and comment and tell me in your in the comments how many actually thought that that is absolutely going to happen and also tell me if you had was it easier or more difficult than the health exercise the health visualization Okay, Sanjay says ten. Ritu, me, not much. Four. Garima says I could visualize all I want to have. Okay, you could visualize, but did you believe that you have it? Did you believe that that, you know, the end picture was when you had everything, you have achieved your goals, you have uh, done whatever, and you are actually flowing with the money. I got my clarity. Hi, Poonam. More difficult. I can visualize. Hi, Meena. Could see it's gonna happen. Difficult than health. Easier than health. Great, Ritu. Yes, could visualize. It was easier. Okay. So either those people who are saying easier, I'm guessing you might have a health issue. 
I found my hubby's business flourishing. Okay. Now, I uh, found it more difficult than health exercise. Yes. Easier than health. Okay. So if it's easier than health, I'm guessing and uh, most likely that you might have a health issue. Difficult than health. Believe but seem difficult than health. Okay. Great. Okay. So Kaveri said 8. So the number was between 1 to 5 but I'm guessing 8 is probably higher size is what you meant. Difficult than health exercise. Okay. Great. Okay. So now why do you think it was more difficult than health? Sonia said achieved great good so this was just a barely a two minute exercise or less than two minutes exercise okay and uh, so whether it was health whether it was money we were able to visualize it now of course when we say visualize it many of us would think that um, you know right now yes I'm visualizing it but how many believe that it's it is going to happen over the next couple of months or you are going to make that happen right so what starts coming up is uh, the negative blocks that we spoke about the first okay the first things that we spoke about where uh, if it is associated with a negative childhood memory or if it is associated with how we are uh, how in the environment that we grew up when we were uh, and we heard about money or we saw how our parents handled money okay so uh, the reason why usually it does happen usually uh, I could visualize believe both will happen okay uh, now again good choice of words now believing is believing equal to achieving it I believe you know I'm the queen of the world I truly believe that but am I is there something that that is going to tell me that I am the queen of the world probably not right so that belief or the belief that happens that's a very interesting word now I, I'll come back to that belief okay now what is happening is that for most of us or for at least for many of us the reality of achieving that money when it gets to us and the reality is when we are able when we understand that what we need to go there what we need to do to achieve that is can be very different okay and so for some of us health was uh, you know easier to do so health is much if you are relatively healthy it's easier for you to imagine that health will be great because you know what do you want to do you you know it's in your hair it's in your hands you need to do you know a couple of things and you know it will be right you get a dietitian or you work out regularly or you go for walks and you will be able to change that now in money what happens we start wondering that it is a there is an external play to it so what is that external play and then we start building up that you know there are if I have my own business there are different permutations combinations to it I have clients how how are my clients going to know whether uh, I am good or not how am I going to attract clients so we start building up so much of questions and doubts that we most likely have given up before we start okay now when we talk about changing the frequency or tuning into the frequency of money there is yes some people might say there is a frequency of money but simply I you know I, I always like to make it I like to simplify it and I like to look at the fact that how you can do it yourself we can easily go and we can easily say that okay hamare birth chart mein ye problem hai so is wajay se hume nahi ho raha hai humne karma you know karmically I had uh, issues or I created problems for somebody else in terms of money or I stole from somebody and that's why it's coming back to bite me now so it doesn't matter what has happened in the past it doesn't matter to some extent what is there in the astrological chart or etc if we are able to truly believe that I can achieve this I can truly I want this and I can achieve it the money factor will start manifesting itself we have heard enough stories of people who have been able to create that money vibration now what is that money vibration the money vibration does not the money energy does not work on the energy of the future 
okay what i when i took you through it okay i took you through what are you do you have you achieved it that was the energy of the future but if we are looking at manifestation if we are looking at tuning into the frequency of money we should at this moment right now believe we already have it so if for example we are looking at 1 crore of turnover uh, end of a fiscal okay end of a year by the year and i should have 1 crore business then i should be able to truly imagine and visualize what does that mean what does it can i actually see that 1 crore figure in my bank account can i actually do i know what i'm going to do with it what is it that i will be how will i be serving people if i'm earning that much okay so when we tune into that frequency is right now is when it will start there will be opportunities that will start coming your way okay there will be uh, you will start uh, looking at you, there, you will start looking at opportunities which earlier you were probably not because you start you you are tuned into that frequency okay you are tuned into earning that much amount of money so the hard work will happen on its own you will do it because you are tuned into that frequency right you you will be able to generate income from the current clients also because you're tuned into that frequency because you truly believe or you truly know it's not actually more than believe it's you truly know that you have already achieved it okay now <coughs> to talk about frequencies a little bit more now everything around us when we look at every everything around us everything has a certain frequency a certain vibration okay whether it is people whether it is buildings whether it is animals whether it is um, you know furniture whatever everything <coughs> hi simran everything has a certain vibration the lower the vibration the thicker the mass okay or at least we see it as a solid um you know something in solid and the higher the vibration the lighter it will be so money has does not have a, a dense vibration money has a light vibration and it is also associated with the emotions that we send out <coughs> so i wanted to in fact i can't show you the image um but maybe later on i will uh plug in the image of uh, basically a emotional funnel and the frequency funnel <coughs> now the emotion funnel says that the denser the emotion the lower the frequency it will be okay and higher the uh, emotion more pure the emotion higher the frequency so when we are wanting to tune into the money frequency it will only happen when we are actually looking at a frequency of abundance which is actually love and caring about others free uh, money the if we look at money as a need if we look at if we keep saying that i don't have money i don't have money paisa nahi hai paisa nahi hai paisa nahi hai we are basically reiterating to the universe that there is not enough so we are praying maybe for something or we are doing some um things to change it but out of 24 hours maybe 4 hours i am in my mind i am just stressing out now whether that is stress whether that is a constant talk that we are telling ourselves that i don't have money i don't have money fees kitni hai ye kitna hai kitni mehangai ho rahi hai kya ho raha hai abhi kya hone wala hai our economy is going to go down the more we feed into these thoughts the lower we are bringing our frequency and our vibration because we are going to the emotion of sadness stress and perhaps anger or resentment so it is going down and we will and whereas so this is what we are doing when we are stressing out this is where we are the money frequency is here because it's around the frequency of love and care okay so this is what where the gap is so sometimes we might be bouncing here and here 
बिकॉज हम जब पूजा करते हैं और वी डू समथिंग यू नो वी गेट पॉजिटिव वाइब्रेशन और वी डू अफर्मेशन बट वी आर स्टिल हियर और वी माइट हिट हियर बट मेजोरिटी ऑफ द ऑफ अ डेली बेसिस आई एम नॉट इवन टॉकिंग अबाउट मंथली डेली बेसिस वी आर नॉट इवन रीचिंग हियर सो वॉट हैपन्स इज मनी कम्स टू अस मन बट इट गोज अवे ओके सो वी माइट वील बिकॉज समटा वॉट वी माइट चांट फॉर और वॉट वी माइट आस्क फॉर और वॉट वी माइट अफॉर्म फॉर इज द फैक्ट दैट ओके आई जस्ट नीड यू नो दिस पर्टिकुलर जॉब और आई नीड वट एवर ट्वेंटी लैक्स पर मंथ इन अ जॉब ओके एंड आई इफ आई गेट ट्वेंटी लैक्स आई बी रियली हैप्पी यू नो आई नीड ट्वेंटी लैक्स आई नीड ट्वेंटी लैक्स और इफ आई गेट ट्वेंटी लैक्स ऑफ बिजनेस पर मंथ यू नो दैट इज दैट विल बी यू नो गुड इनफ फॉर मी और दैट विल रियली बी अमेजिंग so one we are setting a limit we are already setting a limit to it okay and second we are the moment we achieve that target most of the time majority of the people we say oh okay you know i've got a job now you know let's party or uh, we've got 20 lakhs of orders great let's you know let's achieve that next month and uh, itself also or whatever but we somewhere or and then we have plans of how do we spend that money now when we get into that cycle what is happening is we are there is a neediness we do certain things okay we do some rituals and whatever we get that money or we you know get uh, so we are able to attract that money but after 6 months 2 years 3 years 5 years it again goes away because we have not changed how our relationship with money is and if we do not change that if we do not learn the lesson of what we are supposed to from a money standpoint this cycle will keep repeating there is no end to it and then we'll say you know paisa aata hai lekin chala jata hai because we have not learned to change our lessons or learn the lesson that we have to from our relationship with money so let me give an example uh, one of the <clears throat> so uh i think some of you had mentioned that you are healers and therapists so uh, and dentists as well so those of you who are your own uh, have your own business or your own work um some of you i'm guessing might at least usually that happens uh i'll take the example where therapists are not sure what to ask for or what money what rate is the right rate okay so how do you where do you fix that rate for yourself and that is a huge hesitation and let's say somebody fix it up as 3000 rupees for a one hour session okay and then somebody comes to you that uh, and you say ha ah, you know 3000 is fine somebody comes and says you know i don't have a job i'm unable to do this whatever whatever can you please give me a discount you say ha ha let me give a discount to this person okay and then somehow you start realizing that you are in fact a a third person fourth person will also say you know i don't have much money or i don't have money or can i do it some another time or can you give me a discount so you start realizing there's some pattern that emerges there might be others who might be coming but there might be a pattern that is emerging now why is that pattern coming because somewhere you are not convinced that you are capable of giving 3000 rupees of service you are not sure somewhere there is a doubt that it is okay to give a discount about my service one and whatever that level is you would know whether 3000 5000 10000 what is it that is worth of course one should know what is happening in the market so that you can you know fix the rate yourself but one of the biggest things that happen it is people especially in the healing business um, would feel very guilty charging a certain amount and they feel very guilty to ask and say and remind people that you know can you give the payment beforehand or you know even if the session is done can you give you know can you actually make the payment right now where is that guilt coming from the guilt is a guilt that has been acquired from a conditioning that has happened so if you truly believe that you are worth 3000 so why why should there be any guilt asking for that money the moment you have that guilt you are there is a you are basically your self respect is coming down your self esteem is coming down so you are saying i am okay to buy something 
of 3000 but i'm not okay if somebody gives me 3000 ba- rupees for the effort that i have made for healing because somewhere i think my healing is, is healing work is not worth it or somewhere i feel that uh, there is a bet- better psychologist there is a better therapist there is a better psychotherapist there, are, there is a better dentist there is a better teacher uh, than me so you know i am worth only 10000 rupees per month i am worth only 20000 rupees per month so when and it is not obvious it is not obvious it will come in ways that you will when you start seeing a trend that is happening the kind of customers that you are attracting you would realize that there's something wrong why are only certain kind of customers i'll give an example with uh, what happened with me so uh, and i was one of those people i used to feel very guilty uh, asking for money and um, Uh, you know and when i went through certain exercise i realized how deeply embedded it was and it was not um it was very deeply embedded that we should do things for free okay and it should be a free flowing etc not just from my side even for the other so i was in in my mind for me the ideal situation was a barter system but the truth is that today's world is not about barter it might come back because of what is happening right now a lot of people are talking about it but anyway i was talking about one or two years back so not everybody is okay to barter and not and maybe it is not the currency is money okay the currency is a sheet of paper or or plastic that we pay which is the money so i was not respecting the fact that i was receiving money and i was not respecting the fact that it was people were giving it to me so it was not about the confidence i had or did not have about the therapy that i was giving or work that i was doing for me in my case it was that no you know it is it is something dirty it corrupts people so there should be barter okay yes gitanjali isn't it compassion uh so if it is compassion a good question uh, meena so if it is compa- and i'll let me come back to compassion let me just complete this story and what i realized is that the world is external my internal mind is disassociated from the external world that does not work and it will never work okay so either i take you know i go to a society which believes in barter or tribes that believe in barter that's a different thing but if i want to stay in this world i have to understand the ways of the world right and the reason why i'm talking about the ways of the world is also i'm going to talk about how do we also multiply money okay so the frequency of money has multiple angles to it okay so uh, and when i did that um, you know i started with certain um, uh, you know certain fees etc and within 6 months i almost doubled it okay within 6 months and i got more clients i got more people wanting to do the work that i do wanting to avail the services and but at the same time what i realized is the moment i would offer a discount i would feel i'm sorry to use this word but i would really feel shitty about myself i said am i discounting my service am i saying that my service is not worth even this much because i knew that the kind of value that i was adding was definitely still much more than some of the other people who were adding right and when i when i reflected why am i having that feeling i realized that if i truly want to i will gift a healing session to somebody no questions asked if you can't afford it and you truly need it i will gift it to you that will come from compassion she know i'll just uh, read your comment so that will come come from compassion because i am deciding not the person in front there will be there will all and we all know at least i think one person in our family who is very good at bargaining right and all of us have felt that are yaar kya bargain karke aaye ho but hazar rupaye ki you know chadar uh, 500 mein laye ho to my god you are such a good bargainer and many of us have been guilty taking that friend or family uh, member along to get a good bargaining deal okay but that bargain will also come back to us remember that okay and um, so that's what i'm so you know this when this happened 
my mind just shifted i said i would rather give something for free even if it's worth 10000 and i did i actually there was uh, somebody who couldn't afford and i was also when i you know when i prayed i was uh, i just felt that i should just offer those services okay and i offered services worth 12000 rupees for free to somebody because they really needed it so you know but that came from my own mind and that was compassion so you have to look at are you really feeling good to give that discount are you really feeling good to offer that free are you really feeling good about the amount that you are charging them if you're not feeling good about the amount that you're charging them then you probably need to change it and it is true for any kind of business whether it is if you are making a product then how much if you let's say you're making you know you're a designer you know you design clothes so how much are you charging for each dress if you're not okay with the amount that you're receiving you feel you know i'm hardly earning any money so what is happening the person is giving you 250 rupees but you really feel the 250 is not worth it because the amount of hard work that goes into it is much more so you are getting 250 rupees but in your heart you are not grateful because you feel that i i deserve more so you not we are not able to respect and we are not able to cherish the money also that is coming our way and we might cherish it maybe at that moment but in our minds we what is happening the frequency keeps changing okay because what happens the when we are talking about frequency about money the vibrations everything when we are the way that we are talking the action that we take the thought that we have everything is a vibration so if we are making fun of somebody who's walking down the street of how they look that is a negative vibration that we are creating when we are um, you know uh, when at the same time if there is a stand up comedian who is joking about something that's a positive vibration that we are creating because we are laughing it we are letting ourselves laugh okay when we are uh, becoming upset with a with our a uh, child for uh, wasting money or wasting water we are creating a negative vibration okay so everything the way that we are talking to our uh, you know people who work for us the way that we talk to our parents our children when we get upset the thought that we have we might say you know i'm i'm feeling so angry so angry but i will not say anything so we are able to of course control our words but in our thought we are in just going in round in circles and circles and circles so that is also creating a vibration and when that keeps happening whether it is in terms of relationships health money it all adds up for us to really tune into a money vibration a money frequency we have to completely change the way that we think and the way that we talk so that it is a permanent change it is not ki paisa aata to hai aur chala gaya okay so that's that's what we and i'm i'm guessing that that's what we want that you know once we get the money it doesn't just go away just like that right okay i'm just going to may look at some of the comments shainu yes Yes, absolutely right. So it's never possible to get abundance by when you are discounting with others. That's right. So if it comes naturally, sometimes if it comes naturally for some, you know, somebody that you want to give a discount, like for example, beginning when um, a lot of the people, uh, I think in March or April, uh, you know, I started offering free meditations in the morning. um every day in march for about two weeks because i just felt like doing that i said you know it's it's okay you know i i want to offer that and then a lot of pe- other people started offering free services free products or whatever discounted so when it was coming and you would have seen when it is it was it comes from a place of helping other people those people even when they're getting discounts will get perhaps more people to enroll in their programs or services because it is coming from a place of gratitude it is coming from a place of service and not that oh you know this in, <coughs> i don't use the word that's why i'm avoiding the word of what's happening right now ye situation hai so let's you know let's uh, drop our prices and let's get as many people as we can for this webinar that doesn't happen maybe it might happen one off chance but it does not happen and there are in fact um 
I know a lot of people who used to charge a bomb earlier and they are really struggling. They're really, really struggling because even though they are offering discounts, but they don't have takers because of not just how they were manifest, they're manifesting right now, but also how they were asking or manifesting or dealing with money earlier. Dental practice is always underrated, have never got the population happily paying for it. Okay, just now I'm going to give you an example about dental practice, okay? So, Naina, okay, yes. Thank you, Meena. Jotsna, if we stand stern for not offering discount, then the people don't come. Money is the only thing that... Okay, I will just talk about the dental practice and what you just mentioned. Sure, Sanjaya, you can definitely... Uh, watch the replay uh, okay sonali what about giving money to others directly if they are in need is it a positive frequency or negative yes i'm going to come to that okay uh we might go a little over just let me know people if you're okay uh perhaps another half an hour because um you know we're just getting into the interesting part and i do want to share uh, many examples from my own life as well so let me know if you're okay to go over uh, by half an hour or so Okay, so Jyotsna, uh, yes, what you said is true. Now I'll tell you an example of, uh, so in uh, Delhi, the discount, the rates of the dental practice are much more reasonable. I travel a lot, so I'm just going to give you some reference. So when I came to Hyderabad, you know, I had an urgent need. I, did, you know, uh, I had to get something done, and the price was, I think, five times that I have ever paid, and it was a shocker. It was five times the price that I've ever paid, and uh, but I had to get it done because it was like a real bad shape. It it would have got worse. Okay, and uh, so here, what has happened? Of course, there are different tactics and etc. So. Um, there is also and at the same time um, I still went the went to the same place because the reviews were good the Google reviews were good and I had asked one or two people and they said that you know it is a good place to get your dental service done now what happens is Jyotsna and again this is uh, true for everything else right Pricing is also how, um, and I'll go back to when I was, you know, when in my mind, I said, no, everything should be butter. But, you know, in reality, everybody is dealing with money. Now, when we look at the current situation, right, or otherwise, when we know in the market, there are uh, different variety of people who are there. One, the first thing is, how do you distinguish yourself? Because it is very important that we try and stand out even in the dental service it doesn't matter what every service there is a way of standing out whether it is how people are treated inside the clinic how people are you know how, what is the follow-up that is done you know you there are reminder phone calls emails and even how you do it the person who's making the call how do they do it you know making those changes there and then also the plan. How are you planning out the payment? You can, and believe me, we would have seen this many times in websites, right? You want to buy something. Uh, if you want to buy an air conditioner, you know it is, of course, summers. So you have to buy an air conditioner, perhaps. And you have that you can pay 40,000 upfront. Or do you want to do 12, you know, 12 EMIs and that's it. So a lot of people have started over the last... Um, a decade or so people have started buying a lot of new electronics gadgets we have so many more iPhones and iPhones are expensive for example iPhones are really expensive but people are able to afford that because they are doing EMIs so it just gives a impression when I'm scrolling through something or air conditioner or whatever it just gives me a sense oh you know it's only 5,000 a month so I can pay for it so it's okay so even if that it means that so 
I'm not saying that that is the best way to do it for a dental practice, but that is one of the suggestions, one of the ways that you can look at it. So make it appealing to your audience, make it appealing to your clients that you're serving. And that's true for everything, even for teachers. Um, you know, there are so many schools that one can go to, right? And um, at the same time, um, in, or not all uh, schools will have uh, the same number of good teachers coming their way, right? But how are they positioning themselves? How are they? And the internal reality might be different. Or many of us do know that the internal reality of many schools is different from what they project, right? But we want to maybe because uh, that school stands out. Uh, in the environment and you know that's a good school in terms of brand and that's why we would want our child to be part of it because we want the child to be privy to new ways of learning new systems of learning whether it's computers whether it is uh, you know UN um, whether it is you know so many other things and that's where we are able to still compromise and say we can't probably afford it but we will still go ahead right so it really depends on how are we projecting our business how are we really talking about it? and i'm not all talking about marketing i'm talking about gen genuineness so and i'll again i'll share an example when i uh, so i have about 18 years of corporate experience and you know i've been doing this um a lot of healing work on the weekends over the number of years and etc and when i completely moved and shifted to this because this is what i felt my calling is and uh, so there was uh, many a time there was this question or uh, doubt in my head that um, you know is it really going to work you know how am I going there are so many people there are so many people out there and you know what do I do so in the beginning you know yes I perhaps um, some of my I find it very weird but, but some of my videos in the earlier times were uh, different it was because what I had seen is that if you're enthusiastic if you're full of energy and you know you have good makeup on so that is what is going to sell but that is not me <laughs> and it didn't last very long and then I was like I don't and because what would happen is that I would take a long time to do videos then because it was such a task for me and then I completely changed. I said, I need to talk to people. I want to share my content. I want to share what I'm feeling. And when I started becoming more genuine, um, I think I was genuine even earlier. It was just, I was perhaps trying to be somebody else. But when I became more of my own person, when I, when I became more authentic, that is when the money started coming in. That is when people started coming in. So each one of us has that unique capability. I truly believe that. So you have to, one has to see what is that unique capability that you can share with the others. Okay, now, um, so Nali, I know we have your question. So when we are giving, um, so when we are truly giving, when it comes from the heart, okay, uh, to help somebody and we know that they need money so for example we know that that money is specifically going to go to a operation need you know, somebody needs uh, medical uh, intervention and it's going to go for money or for the operation then it is fine you know it is but it has to come from your heart and even the amount maybe the person asks for 50,000 rupees and you know that 50,000 will really kill you and you know it will be very difficult for you to have uh, to give away 50,000 rupees but if uh, you feel that okay I can give 20,000 then give that 20,000 you don't have again you know it is not about if somebody asks for a 50,000 rupees check you give 50,000 you give what you want you are okay giving similarly even discounts maybe <coughs> you might think somebody is asking for a 40% discount but you say Acha, I can give you 10% discount so you can give 10% discount you don't have to give 40% and neither do you need to completely say no I don't want to give you discount this is just my sense that I would rather give something for free than discount it okay Rima my my husband bargains everywhere I know but and I'll tell you a little bit about it so what um, the bargaining that we used to happen bargaining was good uh, till about perhaps 10 15 years back but now we have a at least many of us have a really good lifestyle 
if we were to and this is something again i'm talking from personal experience when i realized that i can pay for a 2000 rupees meal then why am i bargaining for 500 rupees or even 1000 rupees with somebody and especially if that person is uh, not of the same economic uh, stature that i am i would rather you know save the 2000 rather not eat out and save that 2000 and give that 1000 rupees to that person and not uh, charge at at the same time now we also have to be careful and wise if somebody is overcharging us just for the sake of it so and when we change our vibration the amazing thing is about vibration is the moment we change our vibration we will also we can in fact i have done this i have done uh, and i have spoken to um, uh, uh, the sellers in the shops and i've uh, spoken to the shopkeepers and told you know asked them that is this the right price and i've asked them very genuinely and kabhi kabhi it has happened that they have said that no you know you pay us this much so i have not asked for a discount but i have asked for that are you basically indirectly that are you overcharging me because if i say overcharging then i am somewhere offending the person so if i genuinely ask that is this this is this the right right price of the good that i am purchasing and if they say yes then i pay it with all my heart but if it isn't then sometimes you know you, uh, they give you a different price or a lower price so uh that's the thing about bargaining so i have changed my stance about bargaining and so i mean i think i've just answered your question and i'll talk about more about the wisdom and um, how you know you change the people that you start coming across um it is important to stand out yes Yes that is true that is true so you have to and see if you uh, so jotsna unless we truly believe that it will not uh, you know this is what we deserve and this is what it is um it will not work and maybe we can talk offline about it also that's fine hmm ayanvika i don't know what the question is um and i'm like i'm not doing any readings if that's what you were talking about i'm um, so if you can elaborate on the question we're talking about finances and abundance okay now um what is the time okay i wanted to also so yes i want to talk about the state of being a little bit more and the vibrations uh, that we um, have okay so like i was talking about so you know many of us have heard of um and we have come across many ads that talk about the law of abundance okay now the law of abundance like i you know i started the live with this uh, saying this that the law of abundance works on the energy or the vibration of the present state it does not take into account the future state so if we truly need or if we truly believe that we want to attract more business and our you know pipeline should really be um, abundant and we should have a lot of abundance i need to feel abundant and again this is some and we'll do a practice we'll end with this in fact we will do a practice about about uh, feeling abundant uh, so the times that i have truly felt abundant and i i perhaps didn't have a job at that time i had uh, lost a job or i was you know in between jobs and i was going through a crisis and i have always got <coughs> you know i have always got a job when i have felt abundant i have <coughs> i may have done great in the interviews i may have done great in meeting people they would have loved me but i did not get the job or the client when i felt less than myself the moment i felt abundant suddenly the universe opened up and that feeling of abundance is really in our heart center the feeling of abundance comes from here it doesn't come from here okay i'm i'm going to talk a little bit more about that so the vibrations if we ever want to change the vibrations we have to change it from the heart center 
which is also called the heart brain so you will you can do research on this and more there's a lot of research that is now coming out which is talking about the heart brain and less about our um, cranial brain okay so law of manifestation or law of abundance works from the heart if you want to change the vi uh, the vibration or the frequency now what does that mean when we are in the abundant state we are in the state of giving we are in the state of gratitude we are in the state of forgiveness we are in the state of love that those are the feelings that we will be feeling you can you know let's just do a random uh, exercise so i want you to think of the last time that you felt abundant okay and i want you to remember what were the feelings when you felt abundant okay feeling abundant good priyanka so what are the what are those feelings associated with abundance is it you know uh, is abundance related to okay i'm stressing out oh my god i'm going to lose this money now how am i you know i'm feeling abundant but i'm also wondering when i'm going to lose this money or when are when is when are my share when is the share market going to go down again so what are the feel when you felt abundant in your life what is it that you felt happiness you felt okay abundance which i'm guessing is like joy or happiness is what you felt seema were there any feelings of lack confident yes confidence yes true so were there any feelings of lack that we felt at that time uh, when we were feeling abundant or when we were very very happy that you know something had been achieved did we feel oh i really need this i still need this did, I feel, did we feel that joy love yes yes Yes, Jyotsna, such a beautiful example. Thank you. Gratitude. Yes, Ritu. While meditation, loving my kids, my family. Yes. Um, this is a very common one. You know, the love that we feel for our kids that gives us a feeling of immense abundance. So that's another thing that one can do when you are feeling you don't have enough. Just feel the love in your heart for your kids. Confident that you have earned it. Yes. Yes. true thankful for what i have yes so exactly contentment correct correct so do you realize when you're feeling abundant what are the feelings that come with that what are the other emotions these are all positive emotions that you mentioned and somehow you knew it was yours is energetic and happy confident kab kab hi sare kaam ha sare kaam ho jayenge satisfaction yes and exactly when we have i do not know what to do with it spend it on others yes so yes sometimes you know when you feel that abundance we may not know what to do with it and we might spend it with others so we actually become more grateful and we become uh more uh, you know we want to share it with others right that is the and it's not necessary that we would have won a lottery but that is the magic of abundance so if we are looking at changing that frequency so uh, you know what i talked about right now that this is you felt abundance right and these are the feelings that you felt right so now what i'm talking about that bring these feelings up evoke these feelings and this abundance will come to you on its own do the reverse so we talked about feel having and feeling the abundance and then getting those feelings now the magic is the moment you change those feelings the moment you look at feelings of gratitude the moment you have feelings of forgiveness the moment you have feelings of helping others constantly and consistently over a period of time that is with the when the shift happens that is when abundance will start to flow that's when the doors start opening and that's when you hear about amazing experiences of people that um you know 
suddenly i just got a order of this much and you know the economy was um, yeah that's a beautiful image gagandeep you know suddenly there was uh, out of the blue this order came you know i was not expecting it and how did you how did you get it you know somebody referred something 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 and it just happened and right? it just fell into my lap so that i would you know that is what we've going to focus on in developing those feelings of a uh, feeling of abundance which is the higher vibration feelings of love of light of forgiveness about caring for others about a positive mindset so even in today's time believe me there are people who are getting business orders there are people who are uh, i know for example i'll tell you there is somebody who you, who used to deal with uh, sanitization uh, disinfectants okay and uh, he had i think just about 6 months or december is when he started the business and look at it now this is the perfect time he his business is booming in for because everybody requires a disinfectant right did he have enough a uh, way to produce as much as the demand was initially no but he created that he was able to build increase, uh, somehow increase the manufacturing right uh, people who are making masks they are now selling masks on on amazon people working from home they are selling masks on amazon it doesn't matter how much the income is but i'm saying that even in these times income has been generated and believe me healers uh, dentists doctors everybody else teachers they are still manifesting at this time i'm talking about real life experiences that i know about okay so it is not it doesn't matter where you are it will still happen fear yes sonali there is a lot of fear that we feel you feel a lot of unexpected benefits so i'll talk about the fear and all that you mentioned i want that amount every month yes okay so now did i answer your previous question completely just let me know okay now fear now what happens is that like i was mentioning when we achieve something when we get something really well if immediately we are feeling oh i'm going to lose it now now you know i've had a really good run i've had uh you know i've got back to back amazing clients i've got back to back amazing business now kuch to gadbad hone wali hai you know something is going to go wrong so the moment we think that and it's human all of us feel that right the moment that happens immediately please sit down to whether it is meditate whether it is to uh, you know Uh, go and take a walk in nature just change your mindset immediately because that fear otherwise is going to feed on to all the positive vibrations that you have created and that fear is finally going to seep in and it'll start causing stress before you know it so the moment we know there is fear that is coming in you know, or lurking somewhere uh, you know around us immediately change it and meditation is a very underestimated underrated practice Medi- if we are ab- if we meditate every day we will be able to remain in a high vibration throughout the day throughout these difficult times and you will be surprised at how your abundance will open up if you just meditate every day because when you meditate every day even for 20 minutes even for 10 minutes every single day consistently you will say see that you will not feel uh demotivated you will not uh, not feel dejected you will not have those negative feelings which essentially means you will be in a higher higher vibration and as you start meditating more and more and more consistently your vibration will increase so you will attract abundance it's as simple as that right okay writing affirmations yes Okay I did not answer your question Sonali okay so writing affirmations yes so affirmations work but again the thing is that the moment how how long are we able to sustain the affirmations we do it for a couple of weeks and then you know we say as how you know we I have achieved my target or I I'm feeling better and that's it so to I'm talking about the permanent change in abundance the permanent change of feeling that abundant that is what is important 
so okay uh, so now your question was what about giving money to others directly if they are in need a positive or frequency or negative so it is a uh, it will be a positive frequency if it is coming from uh, like i mentioned if it is coming from a state of compassion and if it is coming from a state of uh, just giving and there is no string there are no strings attached to it it is a positive vibration but you have to decide what that amount is okay for you because you might have a positive uh, vibration i did answer your question i think in a different way so you might have a positive vibration if you lend 5000 rupees but you may not have a positive vibration if you're lending 1 lakh of rupees right so that is the difference how can i control my anger how does one overcome fears okay so um uh, rima can you elaborate in terms of anger so is it uh, when you don't have enough money or uh, can you just elaborate it'll help me respond uh, navita how does one overcome fear <clears throat> so navita it is it does require consistent practice and at least in my case what i have seen is now um two things one the regular meditation truly does help and i have seen that working in my life and whether that is uh, it is meditation or any spiritual practice meditation really does help but also if you combine it with spiritual practice now that spiritual practice could be um, you know aap aarti karte ho subah ya aap jap karte ho or you chant or you just like to do yoga maybe that is your spiritual practice or you do yoga and pranayama because yoga and pranayama are also spiritual practices because it kind of centers you um but also do combine it with meditation that really does help uh the other thing is uh one has to face the fear and uh this is something that i am doing more and more now because i have realized that you know when you i think by the time you touch 40 or 45 50 or 60 you realize i am always living in fear there's always some fear or the other so for me it was at least it was and i think for many of us what happens is we reach an age where we realize that i don't want to feel this fear anymore when i was uh, younger it was about marks it was it was about which college will you get admission then it was about what kind of job will you get then it was where will you get married who will you be married to which family will you be married to then it was how much more money will you earn how many houses will you have so there is always this fear so it i think we come to a time then we are like we are done with fear i don't want anything to do with fear but um, instead of doing that i think if we are uh, you know if we really face our fears if we are really able to sit down and one and it is not easy of course it is not easy at all but the freedom that you will feel once you overcome that fear will be fabulous so writing down so today morning in fact something happened and uh, though it was not fear it was more of disappointment and uh, maybe a little bit of anger as well and the anger was not uh, on somebody but it was how somebody uh, handled a situation foolishly and did not communicate so and then um, you know i just sat down uh, and i said that is it my ego talking or is it something else uh, do i fear that i will lose my position or i will lose respect or i will lose responsibility and the moment i faced that the moment i said yes but it doesn't really matter because i can still do what i really want to do and the moment i was honest about it i let it go there was a little bit part of the ego part which was fine because i realized that i would rather let that go than live with that fear because that fear is you know i could feel my heart pal you know pal starting to beat faster and i was like who do i talk to i you know I, this is not okay and um, i knew i was if i start dwelling on it more on the fear more then it is not going to help me so i just said that i'm going to face this i am going to uh, respect those people who took that decision and it is okay so it is not easy but i'm telling you i don't even remember it now maybe it came to for me to give a example for today's session okay veena uh, can you please do an exercise for feeling abundance is it necessary to just do to decide an amount i would suggest yes like any vibrations uh, when you decide what are the what you have to be specific the universe does not hear uh, you know how i want to feel abundant 
you can feel abundant even with 10 rupees so is it okay with you right and then you'll say the universe are i i don't want 10 rupees i wanted more you so the universe just answered your question right and answered your uh, prayer so you have to be specific when you are you know when you are uh, working with the feeling of abundance and when you are throwing it out to the universe to start helping you out health problem what should i do um okay ma'am can you please guide us breaking money blockages so um uh, so the money blockages this is what i'm talking about the money blockages come from the fact that you are we are in a lower vibration than money the we have to money will not come to us the money block happens either we feel we are undeserving and you uh, you can do this exercise on your own if you you know don't want to share because it will be very internal to you so when there is a money blockage okay either it means most often it means that you do not feel you are worth it okay you are not worth a certain amount of money okay for you for it to come to you or if uh, it could also happen that in your family somebody feels that very strongly okay okay and uh, so that is one the second thing that happens with money blockages is that the vibrations that we have created in the past are still stuck up with us where we have either disrespected money and disrespecting money is also whether sometimes jab bachpan mein hum gusse mein you know paise fek dete the nahi chahiye mujhe pocket money or whatever right or even coins it, it's not only about notes it's also about coins if we throw the money you know take your money do whatever you want with it i don't want your money even if we don't do the physical action but in our minds we tell somebody and with children especially it happens you know if there is a father and child complex relationship the father the son or the even the you know daughter they might in their minds tell their father that nahi chahiye mujhe you know i don't want uh, his money i don't want his paisa i will earn on my own and you know something like that we'll say so we are not disrespecting the person we are disrespecting money we are saying that we don't need it so it is coming to us but we are saying we don't need you i don't need you i will manage on my own so we are creating those blocks or we have created those blocks similarly what might happen if somebody has uh, is of you have of you know done something for them <coughs> uh, even if somebody gives you 5 rupees or 10 rupees ya jaise len den hota hai you know sometimes in um, uh when you go and meet your elders or relatives paise dete hain you know sometimes you're told no no you know don't take money from them so jab bhi hum paisa refuse karte hain that is again creating blocks because we are refusing money we are saying we don't want you okay and so reflect on as many times many of these things will happen or for example uh it might happen that we do not have when money came we do not we did, we don't have or we don't show gratitude we say ha a to gaya but i wanted more or you know yes you know this amount is uh, um, i asked for it but i had to fight for it so much i, I don't feel anything about it so the moment we are saying certain things we think we are telling of the other person lekin hum money ko rok rahe hain hum paisa rok rahe hain so there are so many examples you will see in our day to day life bachpan mein humne itni baar kiya hoga uh अभी याद भी नहीं होएगा सो प्लीज जब आप वो करते हैं सो आई वुड सजेस्ट दैट आइदर सिंपल एक्सरसाइज आई डोंट यू नो कॉम्प्लिकेट एनी थिंग वॉट इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज योर ओन सेल्फ लक्ष्मी जी की अगर मूर्ति है या पिक्चर है या अगर नहीं भी है दैट्स फाइन या गणेश जी भी हैं और <coughs> you know just put some money in front representative money uh, whether it's notes uh, or uh, coins and just for about 21 days just unke uh, lakshmi ji ke ya fir um, lakshmi ji ke pairon mein aap arpan kar do and say and ask for forgiveness from money okay ask for forgiveness that you have somewhere you disrespected money you did not realize what you were doing uh do that forgiveness exercise with ma lakshmi uh, you can with ganesh ji uh because he is the remover of obstacles when you uh 
put the money in front of him you can pray to him that please jo bhi recovered maine create ki thi jo bhi maine bandish create ki thi wo remove kar do please again 21 days okay so you can do this <coughs> you will feel and you will see a change in this okay how do you control anger being very impatient Okay, how do you create a type of money blockage if we don't remember how? So, Jotsna, ha, I have told you what you can have, and uh, after, and it's not just that you have to do it, and it's not just that you have to do it, and it's not just that you have to do it, and it's not just that you have to do it, and it's not just that you have to do it, and it's not just that you have to do it, and it's not just that you have to do it, and it's not just that you have to do it, and it's not just that you have to do it, and it's not just that you have to do it, and it's not just that you have to do it, and it's not just that you have to do it, and it's not just that you have to do it, and it's not just that you have to do it, and it's not just that you have to do it, and it's not just that you have to do it, and it's not just that you have to do it, and it's not just that you have to do it, and it's not just that you have to do it, and it's not just that you have to do it, and it's not just that you have to do it, and it's not Uh, जो गृहणी होती है वो घर की लक्ष्मी होती है तो उसको रक्षा भी करनी पड़ती है पैसे की सो यू आर ऑल्सो रिस्पॉन्सिबल कि आप उन लोगों का बिहेवियर चेंज करें उससे क्या होएगा उससे बहुत जल्दी वाइब्रेशंस चेंज होएंगी पूरे घर की एंड सारे फैमिली मेंबर्स की ठीक है तो आप वो कर सकते सो प्लीज बी माइंडफुल कि आगे से अभी से हम uh, एक तो पैसा कभी रिफ्यूज नहीं करना है चाहे वो uh, कैसे भी दे यू नो वट आप यू नो जस्ट टेक इट एज ब्लेसिंग और वट एवर एंड इंक्लूडिंग फॉर एग्जांपल एंड बी वेरी माइंडफुल इफ समबडी हैज गिवन यू लेस सो फॉर एग्जांपल देर इज दोज ऑफ यू हैव गैस सिलेंडर्स इफ यू नो द गैस सिलेंडर पर्सन हैज कम मेनी टाइम्स दे से दैट यू नो दे डोंट हैव चेंज सो इफ यू आर गिविंग देम a tip on your own that is fine but if they are asking for it and you are not comfortable please don't give it please ask them to return the amount ask them to get the change if you are not okay to give a tip to somebody don't give it that is because you are dishonoring money again so jab bhi aap paisa de rahe hain aap check karo aap dil se de rahe ho ya nahi de rahe ho agar aap nahi de rahe ho dil se to aap मत दीजिए बिकॉज कहीं ना कहीं वो डिसरिस्पेक्ट क्रिएट हो रहा है एंड इट इज वी डोंट रियलाइज वेयर इट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम ओके थैंक यू गगनदीप मेनी टाइम पीपल डोंट हैव गुड इंटेंशन सो वी हैव टू रिफ्यूज एंड अदर पर्सन ऑल्सो कीप्स इट बैक इज इट 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 इज स्टिल अ ब्लॉक सो वेन यू से डोंट गिव विद गुड इंटेंशन सो so, वो गुड इंटेंशन से नहीं देते तो आप तो गुड इंटेंशन से ले लो क्या फर्क पड़ता है सो इंटेंशन दे मे बी गिविंग विद वट एवर इंटेंशन यू टेक इट दोनों हाथ में फोल्ड कर दिस इज वॉट आई स्टार्टेड डूइंग ओके इर रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ हु इज गिविंग इट दोनों हाथ में दे दो uh, प्रसाद की तरह जैसे लेते हैं एंड यू से थैंक यू सो मच यू कैन जस्ट हम खाली जब वो देते हैं उनको बोलने की भी जरूरत अगर बोलेंगे तो बहुत ही बढ़िया है अगर हम बोलना नहीं चाहें तो हम लेके उनका बस धन्यवाद कर सकते हैं मन में उनको थैंक यू दे बोल सकते हैं क्योंकि वॉट एवर दे आर चाहे वो किसी भी उससे दे दैट दिया तो सही ये भी तो है एटलीस्ट दे गेव राइट फॉर विद एवर वॉट एवर इंटेंशन एंड वेन यू टेक इट यू जस्ट से दैट यू नो आई टेक इट विद ए प्योर हार्ट सो वेन एवर मनी कम्स इन द बैंक ओके वेन एवर यू गेट अ चेक वेन एवर समबडी गिवज यू कैश प्लीज एक्सेप्टेड विद अ लॉर्ड ऑफ ग्रेटिट्यूड that will also remove the blocks if you don't remember what blocks you have or you don't remember you know itna sab kuch mujhe nahi yaad hoga to jab bhi aap receive karte ho gratitude se receive karo usse gratitude is a very very powerful uh, block remover so whenever you can even when you are giving for example giving money to your housemaid uh, when you are giving money to your car cleaner when you are giving money to your cook चाहे वो कितना खराब खाना बनाते हो चाहे वो सब कुछ ठीक नहीं करते हो बट वेन यू गिविंग मनी गिव देम एज एन ऑफरिंग दैट थैंक यू फॉर हेल्पिंग मी आउट वॉट एवर आपके दर उस वक्त आप अपने मन में कोई बुरी थॉट बुरा थॉट मत रखो जब भी आप किसी को भी पैसे देते हो अपने एम्प्लॉयज के भी को भी जब पैसे देते हो प्लीज डोंट से तुम यू नो यू यू नो यू टूक मोर लीज बट आई डेंट कट योर मनी when you are giving the salary please give it with a lot of gratitude and appreciation that will change the vibrations very quickly so what are the vibrations um, sure thank you uh, so what are the vibrations that are very high if you want to attract money gratitude is the biggest of all okay and forgiveness and love these are the three if you don't even remember anything else 
आप खाली ये याद रखो कि आपको ग्रेटिट्यूड देना है जब भी पैसा आए चाहे वो एक रुपये आए पचास पैसे आए डजेंट मैटर पचास पैसे का डिस्काउंट मिले से थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग मी ए फिफ्टी पैसा डिस्काउंट ठीक है सो ग्रेटिट्यूड देन फॉर गिवनेस लॉर्ड ऑफ द स्मॉल स्मॉल थिंग्स इट्स ओके लेट इट गो डजेंट मैटर वी हैव इनफ वी हैव अ रूफ ऑन आर हेड्स विच इज अ बिग बिग ब्लेसिंग तो ठीक है यू नो लेट्स जस्ट फॉर गिव फ्रॉम आर हार्ट फ्रॉम आर हार्ट ठीक है एंड लव सो वेन एवर you know we may not be able to feel or we may not be able to have a feeling of um, gratitude or a feeling of uh, for or not unable be to forgive something just bring in the uh, feeling of love and when you bring in that feeling of love a uh, genuine love you will be able to change the frequency irrespective जब आप love की feeling लाएंगे जब आप gratitude forgiveness की feeling लाएंगे तीनों में से कुछ भी लाएंगे सामने वाला किसी भी तरीके से आपको चीज दे रहा है आपका पैसे दे रहे हैं वट एवर वो निगेट हो जाएगी बिकॉज ऑफ दीज थ्री फीलिंग्स सो दिस इज हाउ पावरफुल दीज थ्री फीलिंग्स आर इफ वी फाउंड मनी और नोट ऑन द रोड वट डज इट इंडिकेट so um i know there are different versions of this but what um i have recently you know has really come very strongly to me that agar mujhe paisa mila hai aise kahin pe bhi pada hua chahe wo 10 rupaye ka note ho 100 rupaye ka note ho it means that mujhe daan karna chahiye chahe wo same paise mein daan daan karu ya fir mandir mein daan karu ya fir main apni kaam wali ko extra paise dun या मैं किसी और को एक्स्ट्रा पैसे दूँ थोड़े से बट बेसिकली दैट इट इज टाइम फॉर मी टू मे बी गिव सम दान नॉट चैरिटी दान दान इज डिफरेंट दान कम्स फ्रॉम द हार्ट आई एम नेवर एबल टू से मनी इवन इफ आई शो ग्रैटिट्यूड आई एम फीलिंग ओवर वेलम ओके वी विल जस्ट इन जस्ट फाइव टू मिनट्स वी विल डू अ Uh, abundance um, exercise okay and then we'll uh, close because i really want to do that with you if um, you're not able to save money even if i show gratitude so uh, so deshna jab agar saving nahi ho rahi hai uh, we have to reflect on um, there is kuch belief hai hamare andar theek hai ya to bachpan mein hame paisa bahut mushkil se mila hai सो so, हमारे दिम, दिल में दिमाग में ये रहता है कि पैसा नहीं मिलेगा यू you नो know, पैसा अभी जितना है यूज़ कर लो बाद में पता नहीं क्या होगा दिस में नॉट बी ऑब्वियस ये ऑब्वियस चीज़ें नहीं है ये कहीं कंडीशनिंग में कहीं बैठी हुई हैं ठीक है और व्हाट माइट बी हैपनिंग इज कि कहीं ना कहीं दिस इज ऑल्सो डिसरिस्पेक्ट बिकॉज मनी इज ऑलवेज सपोज टू बी ग्रोन तो फॉर एग्जाम्पल जब आप स्टॉक्स में इन्वेस्ट करते हो स्टॉक्स में या आप एस आई पी में इन्वेस्ट कर रहे हो प्लीज उसको रेगुलरली ट्रैक करो कि वो ग्रो हो रहा है या नहीं क्योंकि अगर वो स्टैगनेंट है या वो नहीं हो रहा है देन प्लीज रीच आउट टू पीपल फॉर एडवाइस बिकॉज मनी शुड ऑलवेज ग्रो इट विल नेवर इट शुड नेवर रिमेन स्टैगनेंट द वे वॉटर शुड ऑलवेज फ्लो वॉटर अगर स्टैगनेंट हो जाता है तो उसमें काई जम जाती है मनी इफ इट रिमेन स्टैगनेंट इट विल लूज इट्स वैल्यू वी नो दैट right if for example if i buy american dollars if i bought american dollars um uh you know sometime back the value will go up and down i don't know when it might uh change uh, right so just reflect ki um kahin pe a sense of disrespect disrespect to nahi aa raha hai if you're not able to save if you're really not able to save okay so great questions ho gaye hain let's all do a क्विक एक्सरसाइज तो आई वॉन्ट यू टू जस्ट सिट बैक एंड रिलैक्स क्लोज योर आईज ओके एंड आई वॉन्ट यू टू ब्रिंग योर लेफ्ट हैंड ऑन द सेंटर ऑफ द हार्ट नॉट ऑन योर हार्ट हार्ट के ऊपर नहीं रखना है लेफ्ट हैंड सेंटर ऑफ द चेस्ट रखना है ठीक है सेंटर ऑफ द चेस्ट इज वेयर योर हार्ट चक्रा इज वहां पे रखना है ओके एंड क्लोज योर आईज 
and I want you to think of that target or that amount or that business level or the income level or the salary level whatever the first thing that comes to you comes naturally to you okay so just close down your eyes and think of what is it that you want to pray for we will pray for abundance but a target up rakhiye please and once wo clear ho jata hai you don't have to type anything kuch type karne ki zarurat nahi hai abhi i want you to now visualize and dusra hath bhi right hand left hand ke upar le aaye ho aap dono hath hath chakra jahan pe hota hai center of the chest wahan pe rakho aap and i want you to now ek lambi saans lo take a deep breath and leave it through the mouth take another deep breath and leave it through the mouth with the audible sigh thode awaaz nikal ke yahan saans chhodo muh se ek aur lambi deep breath keep your eyes closed dono haath wahan pe rakho abhi i want you to visualize as if you have already achieved your target you have already achieved that salary level that promotion that clients those number of clients that number of business you have already achieved it i want you to imagine all details of it kahan se client aaya kaise aaya jitne bhi details bhar sakte ho us image mein i want you to fill it up i want you to fill up ki when did you get the news when did you realize ki aapka target ho gaya when did you get to know that you were able to meet your target you were able to get that news of the new job or the promotion that gives you enough and more salary i want you to listen to the news suniye aapke kaan mein koi bol raha hai suniye us awaaz ko mehsoos kijiye us awaaz ko ya us letter ko ya email ko ya phone call ko ya message ko महसूस कीजिए वो वर्ड्स देखिए वर्ड्स सुनिए क्या बोल रहे हैं आपको एंड आई वांट यू टू फील दैट इमोशन दैट जॉय एंड दैट हैप्पीनेस व्हेन यू हियर अबाउट इट दैट हैप्पीनेस व्हेन यू हियर अबाउट दैट न्यूज एंड दैट मनी एंड आई वांट यू टू विजुअलाइज आप उस मनी के साथ पैसे के साथ क्या करेंगे आई वॉन्ट यू टू विजुअलाइज एवरी कि आपकी फैमिली में कितनी खुशियाँ होंगी कितना ग्रैटिट्यूड होगा अपने हर एक बॉडी पार्ट में उस जॉय को उस हैप्पीनेस को महसूस करो वो अबंडेंस को महसूस करो फील दैट अबंडेंस इन योर हार्ट आपका हार्ट इतना इतना खुश होना चाहिए कि वो खुद ब खुद एक्सपैंड कर जाए you feeling so abundant you can pay off all the bills you can make some other payments that you had been wanting to do you can buy certain things you can give some money to some people that you wanted to help who you wanted to help you can give some money to your parents your in-laws your brothers your children feel that abundance feel that abundance even more feel that abundance us picture ko aap bilkul golden light se bright kar do visualize it to be completely golden चमकती हुई मेमोरी क्योंकि वो मेमोरी ही हो जाएगी बाद में सो विजुअलाइज दैट फील दैट इन योर हार्ट फील दैट इन योर बॉडी फील दैट इन योर सेल्स इन ऑल योर सेल्स दैट सेंस ऑफ अबंडेंस एंड हैप्पीनेस एंड जॉय कितनी खुशियाँ कितनी खुशियाँ कितनी खुशियाँ 
जस्ट फील इट उसको सोख करो उस फीलिंग को सोख करो उस फीलिंग को अपने दिल में पूरा सोख कर लो अपने हाथ चक्रा में एंड एज यू डू दैट जब भी आप रेडी हो एक लंबी गहरी सांस लो और मुंह से छोड़ दीजिए एंड वेन एवर यूर रेडी यू कैन ओपन योर आईज एंड ब्रिंग योर हैंड्स डाउन एंड एज यू डू दिस ये आप एक्सरसाइज अगले 41 वन डेज तक रोज करो को विदाउट एनी डाउट विदाउट एनी क्वेश्चन वेदर इट इज गोइंग टू हैपन और नॉट आई वॉन्ट यू टू रिमेंबर दिस फीलिंग ऑफ अबंडेंस दैट यू फेल्ट टूडे एंड एटलीस्ट एवरी डे फॉर फोर्टी वन डेज प्लीज कॉन्टिन्यू टू डू दिस एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो यू कैन डू इट नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स इन अ डे there is no limit but it has to really come from the heart and please share karna how and what the manifestation happens after 41 days i'll be very happy to know thank you meena ji thank you mahek thank you gitanjali Thank you so much everyone thank you so so much it was a blessing to be here thank you mrithla thank you so much for letting me be here didn't want to lose the sight yes jots now usko please aap apne dil mein dimag yaad rakhna and please repeat it thank you sudeshna thank you thank you savira so thank you so much and have a blessed blessed sunday and 41 days please please kijiye and see the difference that you have in your environment yes yes thank you to mudra ma'am thank you veena thank you gagandeep and uh, just remember that love gratitude and forgiveness will raise you to the vibration of money and attracting abundance okay so thank you i'll close the session now much love much love bye bye thank you mrithula thank you